welcome to my Kayla's stretch corner, I'm going to call it. I do want to take this opportunity to focus on some muscles that get typically um, tight or stressed out by everyday activities, such as sitting, typing at a desk, um, even running and, and driving and things like that. Um, those activities, those daily activities that we're not thinking about, typically create front-loaded stress, right? So our shoulders tend to round forward, um, our chest tightens up. Whether we have defined abs or not, our abs are tight, which makes our lower back weak, our hip flexors, cause all that stuff. So I want to show you a few quick exercises to relieve some of those areas and to really bring us back or closer to a state of balance. I have my girl Antonetta here who volunteered to be my uh, lovely assistant very last minute. Thank you for that. So I literally just pulled her from her desk, <laughs> right? Um, so I want to get these muscles warm. Right now we're going to work the IT band and the quad and the hip flexor. You don't know what any of those mean. Don't worry about it. It's the leg, okay? So I want you to point your right toe, and I want you to just swing your leg up and down. Good, straight down. Keep going. Each time she swings, she's trying to get closer to a vertical line. You want to use your abs to really get that leg up, and we're just creating some heat or some fluidity through this joint. Now, we want to make sure, keep going, that this knee stays relatively straight and your toe stays pointed. Go ahead and put that thing up and down. Good. Four and three. And two, hold it up one more, hold. Good, all right, so we're gonna hold it here. We're gonna lock the knee. We're going to point the toe. We're gonna try to do this without the use of the towel. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, but she's shaking now. And if you're doing this with us, you're probably shaking now as well. Why? Because all of these muscles that we're using around the hip and the knee to keep this leg lifted, they are tight, right? The IT band, the quads, and so forth. This vertical position puts it in a really long state, and that's a struggle, right? Especially if you've been seated all day, right? So we're gonna hold it for a few more seconds. Good, repoint the toe, and I want you to slowly drop the leg. Good, keeping the leg long and straight the whole way. Now, best case scenario is that we can do this stretch without hands or a towel, okay? So what we just did was a warm up. But if we find that our knee is not remaining flat or our toe is not staying, uh, staying pointed, we want to use an assistant, all right? So right now, I'm going to have Antonetta take this towel. It's a hand towel. And we're going to fold it like a bandana, right? So triangles and then flat folds. Go ahead and lift that leg up again. Good. And let's use the same leg as before. We'll get to that leg. That's okay. We're gonna place this towel right behind the ankle or calf. Go ahead and hold on. Try not to grab, okay? So now we have an aid that we can use to create that straight and vertical line, okay? So take a deep breath in. On your exhale, push your kneecap away from your chest. So push. Good, take another deep breath in. On your exhale, push the kneecap again. Okay, so you're going to do that as many times as you need to get this leg perfectly straight. We're also going to point the toe, right? So flattening the knee, pointing the toe gives me this straight leg. I can draw a straight line from floor, up through hip, through the knee, all the way through the foot. This is good. The other thing we're using the towel fall for is to keep this leg vertical, right? We don't want this leg to creep in toward the chest, playing into the tightness, or away. Okay, so good, we have a vertical and straight line. You're gonna take a deep breath in. On your exhale, flex your ankle super tight. Ah, keep it flexed, girl, you're not pointing and flexing. So you're probably feeling this at home if you're following along with us, but I want either a 90 degree angle or something more acute. The way you get there is to really let your toe drop. Try to touch me with your big toe. Ah, there it is. I wish I could get a close-up of her face. I wish I could get a close-up of your face because I know you're cringing right now. So keep this. So you want to, each time you make an adjustment, you want to hold the adjustment for anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds, okay? My general rule of thumb is stretch to a mild discomfort, and when you start to feel some relief, come out of it and go into it again deeper, okay? Give me another few seconds. Try to squeeze my hand. Good. Try to touch my hand. 
Good. Deep breath in. On the exhale, move the towel. We point the toe. Slowly drop the leg. Very, very good. All right. We're going to do those leg whips for another round of eight. Ready? Go for it. Eight. Same leg. Yep. Eight. She's like, same leg. Yes. Two, seven, six. Whip it up. Five. Touch me. Four. That's okay. Three. Touch me. Two. Hold it up on one. Good. For our third round, we're actually going to place this towel around the foot in between the big toe or the toes and the ball. You don't want it to creep down into the arch. We're not going to strongly pull down on this towel. We're just using the towel to help us do the things that our muscles and joints can't do on their own right now. So the first thing was getting that vertical leg, right? So use the towel to shift your leg in or away. And you want to get that straight line from floor, through hip, through knee, through heel. Good. So we have that. Next, we want to have a straight leg. So take a deep breath in. And on your exhale, push your kneecap toward my hand. Yes, push your kneecap away from your chest. So we have a vertical and a straight leg. Before we pull down on the towel, let's try to flex the ankle on our own. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, squeeze, flex, and squeeze. Try to squeeze this imaginary hand here, right? Keep it there, don't move it. Just keep that nice flex. Now that you have a flat or vertical and straight and flexed ankle, you use the towel to reinforce this. So take a deep breath in. On the next call, you want to gently pull down on your towel. That's the face. That grimace, that face, that's, that's how I earn my pay. That's how I know I'm doing something good. So you gently apply additional pressure using your towel, but don't lose everything we've worked so hard to do before. So keep your kneecap flat, keep your leg vertical, keep your toes angled down, keep pressure on the towel, we'll hold it for a few more seconds. Okay, good. Use your deep breathing to release any pain or stress you're feeling. Deep breath in. On the exhale, keep the leg, use the towel, repoint your toe, slowly drop your leg. Okay, so good. What we're focused in on this stretch is really the IT bands and the outer thigh muscles that actually connect your hip to your knee. When those muscles are super tight, from running or just from natural like standing on this side, wearing your purse. When those muscles are tight, it pulls on the knee, okay? When our knee is kind of out of whack, it creates an imbalance in our hip, then in our lower back, then in our ankle. So we may feel it in the ankle, we may feel it in the lower back, but a lot of times if we just stretch this muscle, we'll feel some relief, okay? All right, for the sake of balance, we gotta do the other leg. Yes, so you at home as well. Let's go ahead and point this left foot and swing it up and down, lift it up. One, and two, good, and three, and four, and five. If you don't have a partner, just imagine once. <laughs> Come up and hold, okay? Look for that straight vertical line, pointing the toe, you're trying to touch the ceiling with your big toe. You're using your abs to keep the leg up, and if for some reason you can't stop in a perfect vertical, just keep like trying to crunch it in, okay? Or just work to get better each time you do it, okay? Point, slowly drop the leg. We're gonna add the towel and see if we have better luck getting vertical and straight, okay? So let's add this towel. Go ahead and bring the leg up. Right below the ankle, so we're not gonna draw the leg in unless we have to. We're gonna use the towel enough to keep this leg vertical or perpendicular to the floor. We're gonna point the toe, okay? So item number one is do we have a vertical leg perpendicular to the body and to the floor? Item number two is do we have a flat leg or a straight leg? So take your deep breath in and on your exhale, push your kneecap flat. The toe is pointed, that's really good. All right, so as a rule of thumb, we're always gonna use deep breathing to get ourselves into trouble, to get ourselves out of trouble, and to stay in trouble. What does that mean? When we need to make really tough adjustments in or out of poses, we're gonna do so on the exhale. So, right now, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, flex your ankle. Really hard once, keep it flexed. 
You're gonna want to point and flex, don't do that. I need you to keep this leg vertical, use the towel to hold it in. You're gonna squeeze my imaginary hand here. Nope, keep it, keep it, keep it. You're gonna to try to touch my hand with your big toe. Good, you're gonna use your deep breathing to stay in this position and work through any difficulty that you have. You know that you're successfully dropping your foot if your heel is the highest point, your arch is slightly lower, and then your toes are lower than that. If you feel like your toes are a little higher, that's normally your body's attempt to avoid the pain, all right? In this class, we kind of want to run toward the pain, all right? All right, deep breath in. On the exhale, lose the towel, keep the leg, repoint the toe, slowly drop the leg. Go ahead and whip that leg up for eight. Good, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, hold it up on one. Good, let's add this towel to the foot. Remember in between the toes and the ball of the foot, never in the arch. Set up your lines before you add pressure, so set up the vertical line. Use your deep breathing to push your kneecap flat. Before you pull down in the towel, drop your own ankle and your own foot. And once all those things are true, you can take your deep breath in. On your exhale, gently pull down on your towel. And if this is feeling comfortable, which it doesn't look like it's feeling comfortable, but if it is, you can add more pressure to the outside of the foot. So you want the outside of the foot to now be tipping down. That's a way to make this stretch deeper, okay? Another way to make the stretch deeper is actually to cross the towels. When you cross the towels and pull on the opposite hand, you've essentially shortened your pull and it gives you a deeper stretch, okay? So you would hold that anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. Once we've made that final adjustment, good, you're groaning, you're in pain, you're cursing me out, you're rolling your eyes, that means you're doing it right, good. All right. Go ahead and use the towel, keep the leg, repoint the toe, and use your abs to temper this drop, okay? So we've actually completed the IT hand stretch. When you're at home, you can do this as often as you need to. I like to watch TV, I watch a lot of reality TV shows. So during commercial breaks, I will spend an entire commercial break doing this stretch, okay? The goal is to do stretches like this every day so you're creating the general flexibility um, and you don't have to like necessarily take a class and you know on a like and out of guilt right so if you create general flexibility then you'll generally be good to go and you won't have to like put all the onus on that five minutes before class all right so we're going to move on to the hip flexors i want you to turn over onto your um hands and knees all fours all right, so here, you're gonna go ahead and step your right foot forward, okay? What we're looking for here is actually, and you know what, let's switch legs so that the people at home can see your beautiful 90 degree, okay? Both hands are on the floor, and we're looking for this 90 degree angle here, okay? You're good. Go ahead and uh, straighten the back leg and plant this toe, so by the lunge. Good, so this is good. When we make that adjustment and we add that back leg, Make sure to keep this 90 degree angle intact. We don't want that knee to crash forward or bubble out. Now that we've got it set, I want you to take the same side arm as your front leg and open up. Go ahead and open up for me. Good, so now I can really see the lines I'm looking for. I can see this 90 degree angle here. She has a nice line from bottom hand through top hand. And now when all that is true, Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, send your hips one inch lower. Good, okay? So what we're doing here is we're stretching out the hip flexor on the back leg, and the glute, and some other outer thigh muscles on the front leg. Why is this so important? Remember, many of us sit in a fixed seated position, tightening like this all day. So that will naturally tighten up our hip flexors and abs. We want to do things like this to bring us open. All right, good. Go ahead and bring that hand back down. Okay, go ahead and return back to all fours. So drop the back knee. Or yeah, you can do it the strong way, the plank way. Yes, girl. All right, switch legs just for a matter of balance. Okay. So again, at home, you're bringing that opposite of the foot forward. Look for your 90 degree. Extend your back leg. You are rocking it, girl. All right. <laughs> Once you find your 90. Go ahead and open up your arm. It's the same side arm as your front leg. 
Once you've found your straight line in your 90 degree, go ahead and drop your hips one more inch. Okay, breathe through any tightness or stress that you may feel. Good. You can talk, you can count, you can breathe, you can laugh at your ratchet reality TV shows like I do. All right, just keep that airway open. Go ahead and bring the hand down. Gently come back onto all fours. All right, we have two more. Two more fun ones. You down for the two? Okay. She hasn't run out of here yet. Um, so again, just like in our first exercise, um, you want to do each movement for anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds um, as frequently as you feel like you want to or you can. Right, this next one is going to be pretty um, intense. Mm -hmm. So, you know what, let's save the, the most intense one for the end. We'll okay. end with a bed. Okay. Right now, I actually want you to sit up on your knees and I want you to face the camera. Okay. You're going to hold this towel in your right hand and you're going to extend your right arm up toward the ceiling. This is going to be fun. So you're going to whip this towel around. You're going to do so with your shoulder and not your elbow. So the first rotation will be clockwise. Ready? Go. Whip. Rock me. 
here, and it just makes sense. Remember, we're seated like this. So anything we can do to open ourselves back up and bring us our goal is a winner for me. All right, you ready to build up to the intense one? Okay. We're going to end with some ISO pull-up, uh, pull-ups, push-ups. I'm going to end with some ISO push-ups. So you're going to set up on your hands and knees, and I will do one with you. So this is an ISO push-up in that we're going to lower ourselves to the very lowest push-up position we can find. We're going to hold it there, and that will be in a position where our chest is really open and our uh, back muscles are being contracted. So just to do a trial one, your knees are underneath. You're going to open up your arms. I typically go a little wider than my mat. Okay, step one toe back, step the other back. Squeeze your glutes, and I want you to lower yourself to the lowest position, and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, gently lay, stretch up, and return back to all fours, okay? Now I'm going to give you some targeted focuses, so I'm going to tell you these specific things on the second one. Open up those hands wider. Okay, and what you're doing with the hand placement is you can even do like a, a mop push-up and look for a 90 degree angle. Yep. So you're a little less, so you're going to open up your hands a little wider. Okay. Wherever you can find those 90s, that's where your hands should be. Okay, so now you found it. Those where your hands are going to be set up. Go ahead and uh, step one toe back. Step the other. Squeeze your glutes. Lower yourself. At home, if you need to do this on your knees, you're more than welcome, so hold it. I want you to look forward on a 45 degree angle. Good, four, three, open up the chest. Two, you can slowly come out of it. I'm gonna let you do these on your knees this last time. No. I am merciful, remember the queen is merciful. <laughs> but yeah, so the focus really is not on the workout, right? The focus is really on you opening the chest. So if you being on your toes, like prevents you from focusing on the chest and back, just go onto your knees, it's no problem. It tells me nothing about how hard I'm so come back with your hands and knees, set those arms up really wide, okay, bring your hips forward slightly, and on this round, the major focus is on a broad chest and tight shoulder blades, bring them together. Ready? Go ahead and lower yourself. On your knees, there, your knees, you're good. Lower yourself. Good. So come back up. I want you to shift your hips forward, so do like a modified push-up. Okay. Do, yeah, and come down. Good. Good, good, good. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Good. Go forward on a 45 degree angle. Open up your chest. Squeeze your glutes and gently come out of it. So holding that low position, opening up the chest, releasing the stress in the neck and building up the back. All right. So I have tons of other things that I can do with you and I can do with you, but I'm on borrowed time. So we're going to stop there. I'm going to thank lovely assistant, Pensanetta. I literally just pulled her from her desk and she was so humble to um, come and join me. I hope you guys uh, use these stretches and I hope to see you soon. Good job.